What is up everybody, Sly Spy Gaming here, and today I'm going to be teaching you all how to get tons of gil early on in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. This is the best method that I have found and it will not only help you get tons of gil right away, but it will also help you get items as well as get a good amount of materials for your item transmuter as well and allow you to raise that craftsmanship level up pretty quickly. Before we dive into this gill farming method, I did want to let you guys know that I do stream on YouTube Mondays and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central Time. I highly recommend that you guys come and hang out with us. Without further ado, let's jump into how to earn tons of gill early on in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. You can essentially use this method as soon as you leave Calm, but I'm going to show you the most effective way early on right after leaving Calm to actually be able to do this. It's actually going to start very, very close to where they want you to go in the main storyline for the game right after leaving Calm. Anyways, there is a section of land right outside of Oliver's Farm, which is the first location that they want you to go in the main storyline. Essentially starting right in this section that you can see on the map here. Starting here, you want to collect all of the ore in this ore deposit. And then you're going to want to run up to this little water tower type thing here. Uh, there'll be a couple of crates. Most of the time there won't be an item in there, but if there is, that's an additional bonus. From the crates there, you can head right and pick up the manifestation of the planet's blessing. I will get into why this is such a big deal to pick those up later on in the video as well. Head up the hill a little bit and you'll find another ore deposit. From here, this is the most crucial part of the farming method. You're going to want to pause the game, go and save the game. Then, once it's saved, go to that save game, load the game back up, and voila, all of the material deposits have now been replenished. You can keep running this loop a couple of times, and this will give you some items depending on what you get from the crates, as well as some pretty solid materials. But what you are really looking for are in these ore deposits. There are some rare materials that can spawn, which is either the ruby or emerald. However, on top of this, you're also getting the iron ore and the manifestation of the planet's blessing, which I will be going into exactly why that is so important in just a little bit here. Additionally, you can run around to the front of the house where you'll find more materials that you can gather. The reason I did not do that is because of the fact that this is just the quickest way to get the most bang for your buck in terms of time. So we'll now move on to the second part, which is how do you actually get the gill? What do you have to do from here once you've collected the materials? So my recommendation is trying to get as many as you can before actually going and trying to sell the items so what you're going to want to do and again like I said this is very close to Oliver's farm all you have to do is just run over to Oliver's farm where you will actually find a vending machine where you can sell these items as you can see the rubies and emeralds sell for quite a lot for very little work each ruby that you sell is 100 gil while each emerald that you sell is 150 gil I was able to get this many emeralds and rubies just from about 10 to 15 minutes of using this method. So that is essentially the main process. However, you're probably still wondering, what's the point of the iron ore and the planet's blessing that I have been talking about throughout the video? That's actually a major bonus to this method. You can actually use the iron ore and the planet's blessing and use the item transmuter and actually craft copper bracers. Each bracer takes about 30 ore and five planets blessing, so you don't need a ton of planets blessing for this. However, the ore that you collect during your time farming for the rubies and emeralds are going to be major keys in this. You can not only use these copper bracers to upgrade your team early on in the game, but each copper bracer that is made actually sells for 750 gil per piece. After using this method within no time, you will actually max out both the planets blessing and the iron ore. So you should be able to make quite a few of these and make some excellent bonus gill for yourselves and your team. Before that though, you'll have to get your craftsmanship level up to at least level four, which shouldn't be a problem now that you know how this method works. Anyways, that just about does it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it and if it did help you out, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, don't forget to join me on Mondays and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Central Time, where I live stream some of your favorite games. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, everybody, this is Sly Spy Gaming signing out.